Hey guys, it's P. Welcome. Um, short video for you guys today. You're clearly busy. Whether you're going through this process in a positive, good, happy, growth way, or this isn't a vibe and you're going through what many have in this bizarre economy, I just hope you find this helpful wherever you land on that spectrum. While I adore my job, I do remember the process of getting it and what a trash fire that was because I did not have something like this that sort of kept everything in one place and organized. And in the wake of the layoffs, I built this and hope that it helps some people, including you, find the next place that you belong and that hopefully treasures you and your gifts. So with that, let's begin. When you land on the homepage, the first thing that you are going to see is a place where you can embed your current resumes. And this is really helpful, especially if you're applying to a few different roles so you have different resumes tailored to those positions. So when you land on the dashboard itself, the home page, if you will, the first thing you'll see is a place to upload your current resumes. This is really nice because if, especially if you are applying to different roles, you can upload your different resumes that may be tailored to those positions and then store them here. I'm sure some can relate to having a bunch of different resumes maybe uh, from different years, etc. And they're all hiding somewhere. No more, no more, okay? Moving down to applications, which is pretty much the whole point, you know? Um, you can see here that this database applications is split into three different views or tabs. So we have active applications, the board view, and then your inactive jobs as well, which belong in the trash. So moving down here into the different fields, columns, we have, of course, the company name. We have role. This is what I was talking about. If you're applying to a few different types of positions, I put in a couple examples. Maybe that's an odd mix. I'm not sure, but um, something you'll notice here with the salary range property, I did not put it in there as a number or currency. Uh, rather, it's just a, a text property so you can put the range because many jobs now have some type of salary range. Then you come over here to status. This way you can keep track of the various applications where they are and in what state they are. These stack. So especially because sometimes there will be an action required or you're waiting for something, you have the ability to stack those. So in terms of seeing information that's useful at a glance. That's why I have next step here uh, so that you could just quickly see like, okay, this is what I have to do on what date. Clearly I built this a while ago and I'm just getting around to filming it. Um, so maybe I missed out on all of these jobs, I guess. Next I have interest level and there's a, f a few different categories, if you will. The neat thing is that this table is actually sorted by interest level so that the things that you love the most are at the top and then last updated. I just wanna jump over into the board view, which has all of your applications, but separated out by status. This is an easy way to just drag and drop these as they move through the process. And finally, inactive applications or things that just don't work out. We're gonna jump back to active applications and let's jump into very, really great place to work corporation. Up at the top, you'll be able to see mostly everything that shows up in the database like overview page. But there's a couple more detailed items like website, when their next interview is. And then down here is your interview prep area. One thing that's always super intimidating when it comes to having all of these different interviews is keeping the information in your mind. I broke it down here in a couple ways. Company information, at a glance, one sentence, what do they do? This is really helpful to just think of it in the, in the mind of how would I explain to someone what this company does? <laughs> the, the year founded. 
um, damn. And then current company goals, because this is helpful to know on, you know, a you standpoint and then to bring up during an interview to sound like you know what you're talking about. Um, different, you know, quick notes. You know companies be loving their mission and visions, so naturally you, you do too. So we want to be up on that. And then down here is a good spot to put links, embed videos, do whatever you want to do when you are doing the background research before you do your interviews with them. Next, I have different statistics. A place for interviewers. Don't lie. I know that you stalk them, right? At least on LinkedIn, come on. So that's why I have this here, to conveniently have a place where you can do your little stalking operations and be ready to talk to these people. Question prep. Obviously, it's no secret that uh, Glassdoor, places like that offer some great insight as to what types of questions come up in the interviews. It's nice to be able to brainstorm what your answer will be because nothing is worse than tell me a time that something happened and you did something as a response. Like, I don't know, every day. So last thing we are going to cover here is the interview checklist. With jobs these days, there's like 12 steps in the interview process. So that's why I have this checklist here. So we got prep, we got the interview, we got the follow-up, and then just repeat and repeat. And that's pretty much it for that one. Up here, you'll see this is where the template lives. So you can come up here, edit it as you please. It is automatically set to be default. So whether you click new here or new there, either way, it's going to pop up and the body of everything will populate there, ready for you to jump in. So guys, that is that. Hopefully you found something uh, useful in your search for your new part of the journey in life. Much like some of my other templates, most of them that you should definitely check out, I'm making this one free. Probably some of y'all can't afford it. Click the link in the description below. Wishing you all the luck and positive vibes in the world for your job search. See ya.